Crows have lost their past four games in a row and they're currently sitting 11th on the AFL ladder. So we're here to ask the burning question, has the flag window closed for Adelaide? I'm Callum Toomey and today I'm joined by Ash Brown and Mitch Cleary. And Ash, we'll start with you. Was last year as good as it's going to get for the Crows? I think so. They put so much into last year's finals campaign to fall short. They came back to pre-season fat as pigs. There's the infamous training camp that we're still hearing all the uh, stories and all the fallout of. And then there's just the matter. They don't seem to be a harmonious playing group. They don't seem to... And we know from the Tell All Richmond story last year how important that is. They don't all seem to be singing from the same song sheet, Cal. That's not a good thing. Mitch, what do you think? Well, it's hard to build harmony when you've got eight of your top ten in the best and fairest decimated by injuries. Right now, the Crows, they can't get their best players on the park. And there's no side in the competition in recent history that's been able to contend with the quality of these type of players out. You look at Brad Crouch out for the season. He's going to come back fresh for next year. Brody Smith, they may as well just put him on ice for 2019. These types of players are going to be back next year. They're going to have five weeks head start on what they did last year. They get the Gold Coast camp right. They'll be well and truly back in the, the running. And I can't wait to time capture your thoughts. I'm not sure they'll go to the Gold Coast camp again, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, Max, fair point. Well, three of those guys won't even be there next year. Rory Sloan, he'll be playing for St Kilda. Um, oh, oh. Mitch McGovern going somewhere else. And uh, Tom Lynch will be going somewhere else as well. So that's three gone. And then you've got all those veteran players. You've got Betts, 31. Douglas, 31. Gibbs, 29. Jacobs, 30. Uh, Jenkins 29. So you're worried about the demographic, Ash? Yeah, I think their, their best players are going to be pushing 30 next year. I don't like the... Uh, I think they're getting too old. OK, I, why are you a believer? Oh, absolutely. The, the, those players, they're just coming into their prime. The 29, 30, we've seen the Western Bulldogs win premierships with those sorts of players. You'll get Boyd uh, and these types of guys they had in their... Dale Morris. Dale Morris in their side that year. Those guys will be well and truly back in their fresh. Bryce Gibbs has only played 22 games for the last few years. He'll be fresh coming in for next year. But their core of young players coming through, the likes of Duday, McGovern, you say he's going to leave. Every chance he's there next year, that's just it's a bit of fodder for next... He's fodder for uh, contract for two more seasons. Matt Crouch as well, uh, best and fairest last year. These are the types of guys that will propel them forward. And uh, those guys that you said are 29, 30, they'll be role players. These are the type of guys that are going to take them to the next level and be stars of this footy club. Ash, another reason why you think they're cooked? Because I don't think they're that good anymore. I think the top four have gone past them. I think even next year, teams like Port and Frio and GWS and even Hawthorne could potentially go past them. OK. Well, what do you reckon, Mitch? Well, we spoke about the young players. You know, Fogarty, Miller, these guys are all very young still and going to be coming through. But you look go younger again, their depth is going to be even added to this year when they go to the draft. Oh, look at that. Pick 8, pick 15 at the moment. Melbourne's first round and pick 19. Carlton's second round. Three in the top 20. And Cal, you know better than anyone the quality of the SA players. You look at pick 8, they might go for a uh, Isaac Rankin, who's dominating in the Sandful right now. You might even bundle 15 and 19 and be able to steal a Jack Lukosius. Mm. If they lose Tom Lynch, Jack Lukosius is the perfect replacement across half forward. Anything else? You happy with them? No, I just, I'll just i take the points in this one and move on. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching as well. We'll see you next time for another burning question on afl.com.au.